St. George, the first major southern city in Utah where drugs in the narcotics trafficking pipeline pass through. They're heading towards I-70 to Denver or clear up I-15 into the Salt Lake area. On this day, an anonymous tip to St. George dispatchers had officers waiting for a specific vehicle that was said to be transporting a significant amount of narcotics. Hours after that tip, officers spotted that vehicle. Here's what happened next. St. George police officers out on a traffic stop on May 4th, 2024. This after the driver allegedly swerved abruptly on I-15 northbound, drove under the posted speed limit and failed to maintain a lane. While officer Braden Palmer talks to the driver, officer Anthony Ott noticed a duffel bag behind the front passenger seat covered with a sweater. So he went to get canine Emma for a drug sniff. Within a few seconds, positive hit for drugs. It's kind of a well-oiled machine. They, they know what to look for. Um, those dogs are, to them, that's play. When they, when they find those drugs, they know they get their, their toy, and so they're happy to, happy to get their job, job done and then be able to, to be rewarded for that. For canine Emma, good girl. drug hit equals play time. That's a good girl. Yes, that's a good girl. After putting canine Emma away, Officer Ott gloves up and heads back to the car. This just five minutes after pulling up on the traffic stop. Yeet, yeet. A duffel bag containing a massive amount of drugs. The officer pulls out heat sealed packages coated in gasoline, a tactic used to try and throw off drug sniffing dogs. How heavy is that bag? Pretty heavy. 24 pounds of fentanyl in the bag, which equals roughly 108,000 pills of counterfeit oxycodone stamped with an M and 30 on either side containing fentanyl. Police estimate the street value at nearly $1.7 million. For $1.7 million, that's a lot of drugs off the street. Unfortunately, with, with the fentanyl um, epidemic or whatever you want to call it, um, where this is kind of an average thing. This is it's kind of what more and more normal that we're seeing coming through. We're seeing more and more of these large busts um, happening when we make these stops. The driver admitted to picking up the package in California, but St. George was not her intended destination. That's a large amount. We're, we're happy that that is off the street and it will not end up. Um, on the streets of Denver. Destined for the streets of Denver, Colorado, but stopped in southern Utah. That's a good one. It saves lives all the way down the road, doesn't it? Thankful for the anonymous tip in the first place, St. George Police telling me they'll take those tips anytime, whether it's about the drug pipeline through the area or drug activity within the city. As for the suspect, Jasmine Tentori Ortega, she remains in Washington County's Purgatory Correctional Facility. Brian Schnee, KUTV2 News.